is that God has demanded us to become in Scripture until we get rid of the slave mentality. We can't even start really teaching you kingdom good until you understand liberation. So the Bible says, occupy till he comes, seize the land, take it over. We can hardly get you to buy an apartment. Some of you spend most of your whole Christian life living, trying to live holy. And guess what else we found out? That holiness does not determine your harvest. The children of Israel, they were holy in the wilderness. They, they, you didn't hear of any of them sinning. Like the way we would call sin, amen. You didn't see, hear the, you, you didn't see them sleeping around. You know, they were out in a tent, so I guess it couldn't, you know, go and do a whole lot of hiding. You know, you had to be in by a certain, you know, I mean, you, you, I mean, you, you only had to stay under the, you know, you had to stay there right up under the cloud. But see, we begin to understand the thing that kept them out of Canaan is that, that there was a group of them that just wasn't hungry enough. Holiness does not produce Canaan. Hunger does. And see, they taught us in church. See, European Christianity. They taught you that Canaan was a type of heaven. And we bought into that. We were looking forward to Canaan land, Canaan land. No, your Canaan land is New York City. For us, Fifth Avenue. Park Avenue. Some of our real estate is right down there. That's our Canaan land. No, I'm not praying looking for no mansion in the sky. No, no, no. I pray when I go down towards Park Avenue. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. Now you give me the wisdom. Amen. On how to get this. Amen. I stopped going around buildings and saying in Jesus' name. I found that that wasn't the right way. Jesus said that I'm the way but not the answer. I told you where the answer is. What is the answer? Amen. So he says, money answereth all things. Amen. He says, so stop using my name for that kind of stuff. You're abusing the use of my name. My name is to cast out devils, heal the sick. <laughs> Amen. See, we're going to knock religion out of you. You come here so you're going to you get liberation, religion knocked out of you. We're going to get you upset about heaven. Was it wrong for me to desire to go there? No, but it's just not your goal. As a matter of fact, you're not even going to spend eternity there. See, that's going to mess some of you up when you get there. You're going to think you're going to be kicking your feet up. Amen. I got this corner here, Jesus. Amen. Man. They would say, you better get up. Say, so we're on our way back to earth. Earth. I'm setting up my kingdom here on earth. That's why Jehovah Witnesses can keep you hung up in the door because you'll be trying to prove to them that you're going to spend eternity in heaven and you're still flipping through the Bible. It's in here somewhere. It better be because my preacher, preach about it, and the choir sing about heaven every Sunday. They says, if I live right, heaven belongs to me. <laughs> if I pray right, heaven belongs to me. They told me, heaven, heaven, heaven belongs to me, heaven. And do you not know we sing more about heaven than this Bible talks about heaven? This book is really an earth book. It's not a heaven book. But we took Christianity and mixed it with slave religion. Slave religion. 